Charvel Desolation S3 ST. It's a long name. But, um, yeah, let's see what she came in. And this was a. I keep buying these open box items. Alright. I look at a bunch of photos and this guitar looks gorgeous. And it does in real life also. Oh, look at that. To finish. That's really nice. Has a uh, PRS style cutaway with no no binding and it's angled. So I don't know if you can see that. The hardware is gunmetal. Looks pretty awesome. It's on there pretty secure. Not so secure. The action looks pretty good also. Now the fritz. Fritz look nice. So the back also has a nice wood grain finish to it. Look at the the wood color of this neck. It's nice and smooth also. Yeah, here's the back. It's just taking features from all kinds of things. So it's got a belly cut out, like a strat, um, bolt on neck. And then um, and the rest is uh, this is a made in China guitar, or crafted in China. But again, the gunmetal tuners. It's a better view of the flame top. It's nice. Uh, so this kind of shape right here, it um, it reminded me of Dean, but Dean's goes like this. It cuts this part off. But the whole idea is uh, you have better fretboard axis because of the cut, the way it's cut so the way a telly is also like that so yeah just a great um just really well designed guitar it's light also it's very light so once it has a strap on it's not gonna weigh anything But yeah, check uh check out the axis. You can get in there real easily. Even with my finger still back here. And this is the fifteen seventeen. So seventeen fret. 17, 19, 20. Is that right? Yeah. 12, 15, 17, 19, 21. So yeah, actually 21. At 21st, that's still easy to get to. Well, for me, I'll just only need to get uh, these three strings. All of these are right here, so that's nice though. And look at the shape, <coughs> the shape of the guitar. It's a, uh, it's Tele meets Les Paul meets PRS. It's really, it's really weird. This, this kind of thing right here. The belly, it looks a lot more like a Tilly than a Les Paul. Right here it looks like a PRS, and right here it looks like a Les Paul. So, I don't even know what scale this is, but it's, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep this guitar. It's got a nice and light, nice fret axis, 
Um, let me give it a sound test. See what happens. So I want to show the difference in size to a Les Paul. This is the height of the Les Paul. I guess it'll be right here. And then you can see how much, I guess just more space it takes up. Uh, it's, it's that way on both sides. It's a lot wider and a lot taller. So just for reference. But yeah, these are my two new guitars, and they're both freaking awesome.